Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to SIA School. We've got a great episode for you today. So first, we're going to do a cool little art project. We're going to make some stick puppets like this. Really simple, but fun to make. Then after that, I'm going to introduce you to a new friend whose name is Eduardo Elefante. And we're going to learn some Spanish together. Spanish is a really cool language. I think you're going to like it. And then after that, what we're going to do is I've got this brand new song about things that fly up in the sky. Pretty awesome. Alrighty. So stay tuned for this episode of Sia School. Hope you like it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is make some really simple puppets. All that you're going to need is some old pens or pencils to use as a stick to hold the puppet. You could use popsicle sticks too if you have those. Those work great. You'll need some tape, some scotch tape, kind of like this. And you'll need some scissors. Make sure that you get scissors that are good for kids. Um, if you need to use adult scissors, make sure that you get help when you cut. And you'll need a piece of paper, kind of like this, and maybe a pencil or a pen so that you can draw with. So I'm just gonna make a face for my puppet. If you want, you could make anything else that you might think of. You could make an animal or a car, any kind of puppet that you want. An alien could be cool too. All right, but I'm just gonna make a face. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to draw. <laughs> Those pencils almost got away from me. I'm going to draw a circle for the head, just like this. And it could be an oval too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. Then I'm going to draw two eyes. One and two. I'm going to make them just like that. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to draw a nose right there. <laughs> and I'm going to draw a mouth. Pretty nice. Now, what am I missing? Hmm. I think I'm going to give him some ears. Some ears. You can put them on the sides. And I'm going to give him some hair. Alrighty. Perfect. I really like the guy that I made. He's going to be great buddies with the other puppet I already made right here. <laughs> so after you've drawn your picture, you can definitely color it in. It's really fun to color things in. And you don't have to make it with a pencil either. You could make it with colors. No big deal. However you want to make it is great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a circle all the way around the head. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about getting it exactly on the line. I'm just going to cut a circle all the way around just like that. Notice how I'm still taking my time and cutting carefully. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so now I've got my other my other guy here. And the last step to making this puppet, it's a really easy puppet to make, is I'm going to grab a piece of tape. And sometimes it can be hard to tear the tape, so definitely get help if you need it. Just like that. And I'm going to take my pencil here, and I'm going to stick it right on there. So I'm going to make sure first though that I do it the right side up, right? So I'm going to put it like that and I'm going to stick the tape on. There you go. So now I've got my two little friends here. I'm going to name them Frankie and Polly. Hey Frankie, how's it going? Well, I'm doing pretty good, Polly. How are you? Isn't that fun? 
So now you know exactly how to make some cool little puppets of your own at home and definitely color them in and make them really original. Sometimes people will glue yarn for hair. There's all different kinds of ideas. You can be creative. Alrighty, there's our little art lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it. <sighs> Look who I have here with me. It's my new friend, Eduardo Elefante. How's it going, Eduardo? Muy bien, Sia. ¿Cómo estás? <gasps> Whoa, wasn't that cool? He is speaking in a language called Spanish. He asked me how I'm doing. I'm going to tell him I'm doing good. Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Muy bien, Sia. Muy bien, gracias. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. I just asked him how he's doing and he said, I'm doing good. That's really awesome. So let's try that again so you guys can try as well. So when you say, how are you doing? You say, como estas? Okay, go ahead and say it with Eduardo Elefante. One, two, three. Como estas? Whoa, really good job. And if you want to say, I'm doing good, like I'm good, you could say muy bien. Okay, you ready to say it with Eduardo Elefante? You ready, Eduardo? Si. Sí. Oh, he said yes in Spanish. Si sí means yes. Okay, let's say it. it's I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Are you ready? Si. Sí. Okay. ¿Cómo estás, Eduardo? Muy bien, gracias. And then at the end, he said thank you. Okay, we're going to try the whole thing. I'm going to ask him how he's doing. Hola, Eduardo. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Gracias. Oh, that was so cool. We just learned a little bit of Spanish. We learned how to say, how are you? And I'm good. That was a really great job, you guys. All right, so we're just going to learn one more thing. Hey, Eduardo, can you teach us how to count to three? Si, sí, Sia. <laughs> he just said yes, Sia. Okay, so we're going to count to three. So let's try it in English first. One, two, three. Okay, now Eduardo's, Eduardo's going to show us how to do it in Spanish. Ready? Si. Sí. Okay, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. <gasps> Uno, dos, tres. Let's all try it together. One, two, ready, go. Uno, dos, tres. That was fantastic. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks for showing us how to speak a little bit of Spanish. So great to see you today. Gracias, Sia. De nada. <laughs> he said thank you and you're welcome. Okay, so the last thing we're going to learn is how to say goodbye in Spanish. I'm going to say, adios, adios. <gasps> so cool. All righty. Say goodbye to Eduardo. Adios. So I wrote this song about things that fly up in the sky. Can you think of anything that flies up in the sky? Hmm. Butterflies, they definitely fly up in the sky. And what else flies? Birds can fly up in the sky. And there's even some other things that fly, like a rocket ship can fly in the sky and an airplane. Whoa, and so like in superhero land, superheroes can fly, but people can't. But like Superman, he can fly like in the movies and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, well here we go. Here's our song about things that fly. I love butterflies, they fly in the sky. Yes, they do. Yes, they do.
so cool to watch things flying up in the sky. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for this episode of Ski of School. Hope you learned something new and you had some fun as well. All right. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.